Hello there. Welcome to um, <clears throat> another talk. And I think I think the topic I wanted to, I want to start talking about is um, the path I'm on. The path that essentially um, we're all on. But again, <clears throat> it's a choice. You know, regarding the Ascension Road, um, Americans call it the Great Awakening. Um, as it was for me when, you know, I had this unexpected spiritual awakening. But it was it was a situation where I chose at that moment to wake up. Some people, when they feel like that, right, I've had enough of this depression, sometimes they go the other way and kill themselves. So waking up is a choice. Um, and, you know, what I'm going through um, just under just under 10 years, I mean, started off with a, with a spiritual awakening. And what I'm actually experiencing lately is, and all the time as well, is... Um, I can feel my body aligning with this path that I'm going on. Um, that's 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 what I'm going through. It's like it's like I take it's like I take every morning when I get up. I take these different tablets. It's vitamin A. I take vitamin all the vitamin B's. You get that on one tablet. Vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, iron supplements. Um, I take vitamin K2, I take um, selenium, zinc, tyrosine, acuberry, um, 5-HTP, those are the essentials, as well as other things, um, black seed oil, I take majun philosopher, which is an Indian medicine, honey, um, and you can, and... But you know the essentials is, you know is, you know, um, is so important. And that's why on vitamins it says essential. But, but regarding this um, path I'm on, you know, that's part. That's a massive part of it. Um, because I had the spiritual awakening, and well, it was this year I was very ill in February time. And I decided to get into vitamins. Um, but this path, this path of mine is, is so synchronistic. It's when I actually look back, I, it's like, oh, that had to happen to lead to this. And that had to happen to go to that. And it, it's almost like perfect. It's almost like it was planned. Um, and it is. You know, you've, you're going somewhere, but you've already been there. And that has to be the case because you can only walk on a road if the road's been made for you. <laughs> can you? So, um, yeah, and this is, see, the path of ascension and waking up, and it's, it's it, again, it's, you, you let, you go into the, the heart area. This is in science now, um, <clears throat> in places like the Heart Math Institute, which um, is that, Within the heart area is it's scientifically scientific that you can actually heal not just yourself but your your energy impacts other energies as well from the heart area. This is what happens in that spiritual awakening, and you can do it right now. You can awaken right now by choosing to do that. By just that's all the spiritual awakening is. It's just when I had my awakening, I didn't know what I was doing. It, um, took me years to find out what was going on. Um, and I understand that the reason I had to go through such a harsh awakening was so that I could reveal it to others. So it's again, it's that thing about that everything is like planned and and coordinated perfectly. 
almost like the all that is coordinates everything perfectly. That's that's like what it does. It coordinates everything perfectly. Um, if you want to know what that noise is, I have my dog sitting next to me, just in case you wonder what that noise was. What's that extra noise there? Yes, so he wants to um, listen to my talks also. <clears throat> but yeah, and on the you know the awakening road, the ascension road, what's actually happening is um, you're going through what you call DNA activations, and that is where um, <clears throat> because in, once you start to go within the heart space area, you're interacting with the heaven self. I call it the heaven self, and people that have had near death experiences have said that. There's, that heaven is actually a place and they say that to get there you have to you have to live your life a certain way you have to pass certain tests but heaven's actually a place and in heaven they say that all your relatives from past lives as well are there and um and but I, my point is about the about the heart space once you go within the heart vortex area that is the connection to the heaven self the you that lives in heaven it's like a you know because there's all there's parallel realities going on all over the place and you can interact with multiple things at one time. You are doing that, but unconsciously. But once you go in the heart vortex, you start communicating with the heaven self and then you start going through this ascension process and DNA activation. DNA activations. And um, when you're going through it, it feels like something something has cut the cord and your body is now you feel you feel these I mean it can be pains in your body, it can be, you'll just, you'll feel it. Um, this, this is, this is part of the, the spiritual awakening process that I'm talking about. So if, so I guess this video is for anyone that, um, is going through this, you know, anyone that knows what I'm talking about. I guess my talks that I do are about all different things. I mean, but the spiritual awakening stuff, that's probably the stuff that, the information like the Smarker stuff, the Bill Gates stuff, that stuff I've looked up and researched, but the spiritual awakening stuff has come, because my, my, this whole path of mine came from an unexpected awakening, spiritual awakening. And so I'm probably an expert at that. Yeah, definitely. Because I've experienced it, right? It's one thing to speak knowledge, but I'm actually going through this awakening process. I've been for under 10 years. <clears throat> but that's what you're doing. And once you, and you can, like I say, you can awaken right now by choosing to live from the heart area, feel instead of think, and then you'll start getting relentless insights and knowledge and understanding into things. And that information is coming from the, he the heaven self. Because it's all just energy. The, you know, heaven is a place, but it's also, but everything's an energy. Right, so everything's just energy fields all connected, one, oneness, right? Because everything comes from nothingness. Well, nothingness is one infinity. <laughs> so that's why everything's, uh, well, that's what oneness really means. We're all the same infinity. Um, and that's why you can access anything. You can communicate with dead spirits if you want, if you, if you want to. You can do anything. But once you go in with the heart space area, the heart vortex, then you start connecting with the the heaven self and then that's what's giving you these DNA activations that's what's doing it people a lot of people that haven't had that spiritual awakening they get involved in this stuff and they think it's UFOs or something it's not it's you because all is you like I say I said a minute ago everything comes from nothingness logic okay everything has to come from nothing at some stage nothingness is one infinity so so that means all is you this is when you realize that you're the god you realize there's no other you realize that you're all alone this is what the awakening path is what was is like for for a lot of people um and me included is that you realize that there's only you this is what really non-duality is really talking about but people that aren't going through the process just doing a course on something isn't going through the, the path, right? 
It's one thing to talk the path, but to walk the path is a different thing. But the non-duality path is the path of spiritual awakening, and it's the path of realizing that you are all alone. And for most people, they run from it because they're running from themselves. But in the awakening process, as you work with it, you start to open up to this, to this nothingness, this, and you realize there's only you. Right? Then as you go deeper, you realize there is no you. Because if you come from nothing, what are you really? If, you know, <clears throat> what are you? If, if you don't exist, if you weren't even created. It's like the, the Mandela effect. My dad talks about this where they think something's happened, but it actually hasn't happened. So what is anything? And that, the reason I bring that up is, is because it relates to what I'm talking about. What is anything? What is consciousness when everything comes from nothing? What is nothing? Right? And this is why I say that I know nothing. But back to the heaven self thing, you know, that is how you, that is how you, you want to spiritually awaken right now and go through these DNA activations and um, align your DNA with the heaven self, <clears throat> then it's all, then you, just, just like the Heart Math Institute would tell you, it's all about the heart area. And um, once you do that, you connect with the you that lives in heaven, and then that, that person starts taking you through step by step your, the process. And this is, this is what happened to me. But I understand that I had to have the harsh awakening so that you wouldn't. Um, and you see, it's that thing again where dark has dark complements light. You look at the start, well, when it's dark again, you know, you, everything is one and it all works together. It's like any picture you look at, the colors all, all fit together as one. Um, but yeah, the, the the heart vortex. That is that's what the heart space is. It's a, it's not just a a heart that pumps. Once you start working with it energetically, in there is a doorway, a vortex into that heaven self, a heaven realm, and then you start gaining insights from this realm. Um. And then, like I say, you'll start going through these um, these ascension shifts. And the best way to deal with the ascension shifts is to basically just be present in it. When you're going through body changes or you feel you're, you're going through stuff, go with what is in presence, right? Um, that's, that's what you must go with. Whatever you want to do in this present moment, go and do it. Because when you do what you want to do, you let it go. Right? You let it go. So as you're doing this more and more, letting go, letting go, you're, you're, you're going into this perfect centered state where you're not left or right. And this is, this is nirvana. This is how you reach nirvana. And um, that's how you do it. But, they, like, but before I end this video, it's all about the heart area and presence and stillness. But the heart vortex is how you connect with that, that heaven self. But I'm just going to leave it there um, f um, for latest updates and, and talks like this. Um, I do have a website. Um, my website is www.lovelightfamily.com. Thank you for watching and listening to my talks. Thank you.